Hey guys, it's Kurt from Worsey Club USA. Today we're going to show you how to install the Hotwork VST for pipe organs. Check the description area of this video for links on where you can purchase Hotwork and the Silberman pipe organ that Worsey has available for your OAX instrument. We need to put a quick disclaimer in here and let you know that <clears throat> what we're going to show you is not a supported version of Hopwork. Uh, you do need to purchase directly from Worsey. Again, check those links for the supported version. Okay, let's get down to business. So we are at the Windows level of our Sonic and we have downloaded it, uh, the install package, to a temporary folder. And basically, like any Windows product you kind of just click next 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 and install and we're going to get up to a point where it asks us about a custom step and that's important because we do need to change some of the install locations for this to work with the uh, factory VST presets that Worsey gives us. We are now at the point where we do need to make a slight change and we want to pick custom so that we can choose the installation path uh, where the DLLs get installed. You're going to go ahead and click on Next after you've checked Custom and then we're going to go ahead and click Choose and just uh, navigate to the folder right directly on the organ and that is going to be C Worsey Plugins. And again, one more time, let me highlight that so you can see it. C backslash Worsey backslash plugins. And you get prompted for a couple other installation paths. We're going to take those as the default. The only one that you have to change, again, is the uh, VST path. Uh, we're going to leave Hopwork, uh, the automatic start, unchecked. And then uh, you basically let it grind away a bit. It takes a couple of minutes to uh, unpack everything. And once everything completes, you get a little pop-up window uh, telling you that, that you know, the install was successful. And notice over on the right-hand side of the desktop there, you see some additional icons um, to launch Hopwork hop directly on the desktop. Let's go ahead and click Done, and then we're going to launch Hopwork to do some additional customization. And this is still done at the Windows desktop. The first time you launch the app, you will see it unloading or unpacking a bunch of additional files. As that completes, uh, you do get a welcome screen. We're going to click Next. And this prompt asks what type of MIDI controller or keyboard we're using. And if you scroll down, you'll see Worsey in the list. So we're going to highlight that and click Next. The next question is about our MIDI imports. You want to uncheck everything except the bottom one that says Hopwork VST link. And then the same is true for the MIDI out ports. You only want the very last line item, VST link, checked. We're going to click on Next. We're going to click Next one more time. And at this point, the general configuration is done. Now we have to connect up our audio. And it's the same thing. You're going to click the VST link. Click OK. It's going to default to the demo organ. You click OK. Uh, we don't care about that particular screen at this point, so we click OK. And it does a little bit more uh, configuration of the VST. As soon as that finishes you get another message telling you that the pipe organ is now ready. When you click finish a number of windows will open and notice you can move those around. We really want to get to the main console. To do that let's go ahead and close down all these other windows. You can open them up later and explore those but for now we need to do some additional configuration. Let's scroll up to the top to Organ Settings and then to Keyboards. And this is where you're going to map your pedals, great and swell, or as I call it, upper and lower. So we'll just do pedals. And notice what I'm picking here. 
uh, VST link, the Hopwork VST link, and you do have to make a change here. You want that on MIDI channel 3. And then let's go to the great manual, or as I call it, the lower manual. And uh, same thing, you need to go to the Hopwork VST link, and that is going to be on MIDI channel 2. And then finally, our swell or upper manual. And once again, you guessed right, the VST link, and this time MIDI channel 1. Go ahead and, and go back over each one of those, click on them, and make sure you've got your MIDI channels correct. Pedals on three, lower on two, upper on one. We closed all those additional windows. We're going to click File and Exit to shut down Hopwork at the Windows level. And then we're going to launch OAX and make a couple of changes there to connect it so we can control the VST from OAX directly. So our friends at Worsi have done a little bit of work to pre-configure OAX for this VST. And if you go to preset 999, notice it's set up for the hop work. So let's go ahead and load that. Remember during the install at the Windows level, we selected VST link for our keyboards and audio. So now let's go into VST host on OAX. And notice there is a factory preset from Worsi designed to work with Hopwork. So let's go ahead and load that. And as you do that, it is now launching the VST. And in the pop-up windows here, you will actually see the pipe organ. But now you're at the OAX level and no, no longer at the Windows level of the organ. Go ahead and play on the upper keyboard. You see the keys move. Lower keyboard, you see some keys moving again. Now you didn't hear any sound yet, so you have to pull out some of the stops and go ahead and just touch them on the screen and pull them out and play again, and this time you'll actually hear the pipe organ. Pretty cool. We did forget to show you one step at the Windows level, so let's click Organ Settings. Let's click Expression Crescendo Pedal, and notice on the left, Crescendo Pedal, this time the input is going to be the MIDI controllers, uh, MIDI port, guess again, VST link, like everything else, and that goes on MIDI channel 1. One last trick we want to share with you. We're back on the main menu on preset 999. If you press and hold the church button over on the right hand side of the console, maybe three or four seconds, look what pops up. Our good old friend, the pipe organ. At this point, you can touch the, the various stops, make your registrations, and have yourself a good old time. Now, about the only thing that we know about pipe organs is maybe where middle C is at. So, what we did is loaded up a demo that comes with hop work, so you could hear a little bit of it playing and this is recorded directly on, on the Sonic. And if you watch in the screen, you can, you can see the organ playing itself. And if you look even closer in the background, you'll see it's the standard uh, you know, Sonic desktop. So this is all running directly on the Sonic, recorded directly on the Sonic. Enjoy. Let's close out this video and again remind you that for a fully supported version you need to purchase a Hopwork from Worsi Direct and at this point they offer the Silverman pipe organ 
that works on OAX. Check the description of this video for the links on how to purchase Hopwork. And as always, thanks for watching.